So we have been doing a five day R&D and it was sparked off by a quote we found in a book called House of Leaves. In it, one of the characters says, we all use stories to protect ourselves. It's strange that I, I can't shake that feeling every time. We came in with two bits of material, really. We came in with short extracts from the book House of Leaves and a set of games, exercises and tasks as ways in to explore some of the themes and content. The key questions that we have been exploring is what is it like to tell a story that has multiple authors and what if the authors don't agree? We played a lot this week with live projection, sound being incredibly integrated and seeing sound being made on stage. The creative team and the actor devices have been working completely together. In the room we had five actor devisers, three designers, a poet and a writer slash dramaturg. Stupidly I didn't bring the book with me, like an idiot. Yeah, I think there's something definitely about absence in there for me. Something about loss. If you wanted to categorise it, you could call it grief. Grief seemed to be one of those moments where everything took on a heightened quality, a kind of unreal quality. I think it's a change in punctuation I'm mark. not sure where we are in the story. Change in punctuation mark from a question mark to a, a full stop. I think the show's at a very exciting, exploratory, open stage at the moment. Simon's done a lot of thinking about it and has a lot of sources that he's drawing on. My hope is that we'll come out at the end of the week with a palette of ideas, theatrical forms, storytelling modes and design ideas that would be suitable for telling a story that deals with these themes. The book's about 800 pages long. We start from the beginning. And while we're at this stage of flux where we don't quite know what the, the, the exact text is that we're using, what the exact story is, it's great to have this range of potentials. Exploring it in this way often opens up a set of new shows that you hadn't thought of, and that's a lovely surprising result of that.